welcome back to World of Warcraft Classic Blind. A lot of people around today. And also, welcome back. My thing. It's gonna cost me 30 silver to get Thunderwood back. Thank you for using the item restoration system. Apparently that's a thing. Items that were available for immediate restoration are attached to this message. Certain restorations may require assistance from our customer support team and take some additional time to process. Additional information will be provided after we have had the opportunity to review your request. Contact us if you require additional assistance. We will be taking this. Accepting this will cost us what it costs us to get rid of it in the first place. Oh, yes. We vendored this in the last episode. Didn't realize it was blue. That was a mistake. It's only level 22, though, so we'll see what we can actually get for it. Worst case scenario, we just vendor it again. Thunderwood. Does some nature damage. It's got a cool name. Anybody else selling a Thunderwoods? Thunderwood. Oh my. That is a bold amount. I've got my doubts on that. 14 gold, you say? I'm suspicious. How is nature damage really that good? It's a level 22 wand. Also of interest, wands are the only kind of weapon I can't use ever. So that's interesting. Let's see what other kind of 20 to 25 wands exist. Let's get a feel. Well, that's not much of a feel. These ones do fire damage. It's definitely less, because this one's blue. This one does arcane damage. That's even more expensive. As far as blue wands are concerned, there's not too many of them. That makes that makes this sale very, very questionable. All right, we're going to go to auctions. Offer up Thunderwood. Starting price, 50. Buyout price. That other guy's trying to sell for 14, but I have got a feeling that's a lie. Like, th there's no way someone would pay and spend that much for something you're probably going to very quickly out level. So let's put on. I have no idea. Nine? There's no way it's worth that much. Hopefully we can get somebody to bid on it at that starting price now. This is, I have no idea what this is worth, the auction. Okay. So if we get more, if, if anybody bids on this, this was a net gain. And it's really easy to go through the whole process of getting it back. So hopefully this pays off for us. Next thing I want to check is if there's any money to be made 
on Moonsteel Broadswords. Let's just write down what we need for this. We're going to have to compare the price of all the ingredients and then guess what they can actually sell for. Eight steel bars. Two strong flux. Two heavy grinding Jones. Three lesser moonstones and three heavy leather. Now, what we're not going to be doing this time is ignoring the cost of the materials that we already have. As much as it's going to, as much as making a bunch of these would give us blacksmithing levels, if it's a net loss, that's not a great plan. So let's search in here, not wands, no level range, the moon steel. What's happening with this today? We've seen 9 gold. We've seen 21 gold. On this, our third check, the prices are at 19. Alright. And the plans are going for 250. I probably could have made some money picking up an extra set of plans. Again, people are selling these. The question is, are they buying them? All right. Steel bar. Not a huge selection in here. Some interesting. Right, so we need to we need to do math. That means calculator time. Okay, calculator. You can't see this. That's fine. Looks like you're gonna be set back five gold. 45 per 20. So that's about 27 silver per bar. Multiply that by 8. So the steel bars alone are going to set you back a little over 2 gold. And you can see how this sword gets expensive quickly. That's only the first ingredient. Strong flux. Are you sure we can just buy this from a shop? Yeah. We'll have to go check that shop then. Heavy grinding stone. There's not a lot of these available again nine gold divided by 20 times two so that would cost 0.9 gold basically now we might be able to save a little bit and have a larger inventory we just check for heavy stone oh heavy stone seems a lot cheaper 
We'll go to blacksmithing. Heavy grinding stones are three heavy stone. Okay. So that would be six of those. So we take the There's good prices in here too. Take the one point fifty one gold. Divide that by twenty. And multiply that by six. Oh well, yeah, that that's a that's a big savings doing it that way. That's like half off. If you're gonna try to make money making things, you need to do your best to not lose all that money on the processing steps. Which makes me wonder, can we make some of our money back purchasing iron bars? Apparently, oh, there are some, there are some iron bars. So you need iron bars and coal. So, that'd be 2.69, divide by 20, times that by 8. That'd be one gold, roughly. Eight iron bars. Then we need to go track down the cost of eight coal. Again, I think that's just from shops. Probably not gonna be any even in here. No, there's some. We'll grab a couple coal for roughly five silver. I have to check what coal's worth too. Next up, the lesser moonstones. Not a lot of these available. That that is that is very much the sticking point here. <laughs> Expensive and apparently uncommon. That alone limits how many of these you could even make. And heavy leather. Got stacks of 20 again. Grab for about 225. 225. Divided by 20 times 3 is not too expensive on the heavy leather. Okay. Let's see what we have in the bank. Here they are. We've got four moonstones. Got some iron. A lot of heavy stone. Or iron. Got some mithril. I think that is everything that's useful for this. Watch, get her back. Okay. Let's go check the store. for the strong flux and coal. Another question is, do I want to use all of my moonstones? 
Yes, they would save me a lot of money here. But what if I need moonstones for something else? They're not exactly the most common thing to come by. As you can tell by the tiny, tiny amount that's on the auction house. That's what can I get for you today? Okay, coal is 4.5, so that's cheaper than you get in there. So, 4.5 silver times 8. That is 0.5. Three, six. Gold. So buying iron bars and coal seems to be a huge savings. Good to know. The strong flux is 18 silver. So we need two of those. That's 0.36 gold. We just cross off buying steel bars and the heavy grinding stones, because that, that's just a poor decision. Tally this all up. Got the iron bars cost, the coal, the flux, the heavy stone, which we would have to make into heavy grinding stones, similar with the steel bars, the lesser moon stones, and the heavy leather. Grand total, looks like about six gold to make this sword. Watch your back. Interesting. And people are trying to sell it for 19. Now that, that's, that is substantial, is what that is. Worst case scenario, we can drop the price down to like seven gold, and it's not a complete loss. It is going to be tying up a lot of our resources here. It's probably okay. I think I'm going to try to make two. So for two, we need six heavy leather. Just grab these. Oh, yeah. Yes, please. We need two more lesser moonstones. We'll buy the two cheapest ones here. Hopefully, this all pays off. Worst case scenario, we're left with a whole bunch of useless swords. Alright. We've got the iron ore. We got the heavy stone. Buy the flux, buy the coal. That's pretty much it. Alright. And this is just about as good a use of iron ore as anything else would be one of the highest level things that we can produce. We can just delete this. Don't need that anymore. Hopefully that pays off too. This 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 whole thing could be very profitable for us today. But we will see. It all depends on how much people want some kind of naturey wand and to do this silly silly quest with this sword. So we're going to need 16 coal and 4 strong flux. Blacksmithing supplies. I have the finest wares in the land. And coal. It takes its time. There it is. All right. Save you. Travels. And over here. Uh, nope, that's not right. We need to do a smelt. We need to smelt the iron first. And we want 16, please. 
I guess we just create it all. Uh, let's make those extra two iron. Let's be shiny iron bars for our bank account. Alright. While we do this, I want to look at these strength items we had here. It's plus three strength. Minus seven stamina. The question becomes, do I value strength more than twice as much as stamina? Situationally, I would say yes. And similarly, this is plus five strength for minus six stamina, also minus half the armor. So what I'm seeing here is potentially we keep these around, use them in situations where we're not being highly damaged and need the extra armor and stamina, but for situations where we are above the level for the, for the enemies, this will just make it a little bit quicker for us. We can see how it feels against higher level enemies. Again, the difference is going to be not exceptionally large. It's like a few percent more damage, but I have a few percent less health and take a few percent more damage. All the numbers are there. I just need to work it a little bit. Okay, blacksmithing. We need... Heavy grinding stones. Four, please. Oh, that's, that's not four. Four. Yes. Alright. These first two swords, we saved a huge amount of money from just having the resources already. That, that, again, that's not really how things work, but get the idea. Uh, scroll up. Moon steel broadswords. Just slam all this together. 16 bars, 4 flux, 4 grinding stones, 6 moonstones, and 6 heavy leather. It's gonna take a while. When there's a sword this potentially valuable, a little bit of time probably is not a bad plan. Alright. We will see how this goes. We don't have a monopoly on this item, as we've seen other people are also making them. But if we can just make these for a whole bunch of levels, to train our blacksmithing, and make huge piles of cash on the side, I wouldn't be complaining. Uh, I will be surprised, though. Complicated sword is complicated. All right, here we go. All the moonstones used up. The iron bars reduced to two. Heavy stone still in high quantity. Good to see. Good to see that. Let's meander our way back over to the auction house and slap in some moon steel broadswords. We'll see. We will see indeed. They're made by me. I made this. I made this. They got stamina and spirit on them. If anybody wants this as a sword, it's not a bad sword. Moon steel. And since we've been doing this, these other person's swords have not sell, sold either. 17 to 19, you say? Alright. 
Pause is 60 silver. Starting price. Benefits me to slightly undercut, but also benefits me to keep the prices high in case these are actually things that sell. I'm going to just go a little bit below that other guy. 16.50 starting price. 15 starting price. Buy out. 18.50. Yeah, how's that look? If anybody wants to buy this for 15 gold, I'm not going to complain. And we'll duplicate that. Wowzers. If all this goes through, that's more than doubling my money right now. That, that's insane. We will see, though. We will have to see. If this works out, we're going to be on the whim of the Moonstone Collectors. How are you? For if we ever get to do this again. Be good. Okay. Any potions in here? Mind. Spider sausage. I'm not surprised. Hour and a half. That's probably enough. Off with it. Okay. And since we're in town, we might as well grab ourselves some more healing potions. It's beneficial to keep on top of that kind of thing. Healing. Potion. I spelled healing wrong. Pro tip. You need to spell healing correctly. Superior healing potions. And grab them for 12. We can't use the major healing potions yet, so. We will. Swoop in on this cheapest offering. It's nice to restock once in a while because you can grab the cheapest available. Take. All right, we can store the extra Couple of these in the bank. Interest you on the point. Looks good. Be good. All right. Just hanging out. June. That's not right. In stone. There's a few in here. Definitely, by far, the most expensive portion of this sword. Like, more than half of the value is in Moonstone. So that is... That is a substantial portion of this. If we can get these prices for them. That's a small price to pay. If this works out well, we might end up jacking the price of moonstones as I hoover them all up for my profits. But only time will tell if that's actually a thing that's going to happen. For the time being, 
We may just be playing attention. with silly, well, silly, worthless back. swords. I can dream, though. Worst case scenario, we sell them. Worst case scenario, we sell them for nothing. But if we can get at least six out of it, at least it's not a loss. And we got some blacksmithing out of it, so. Here's hoping we can at least get six. But obviously 18 would be better. I'm a banker now. Anyways. We will see if this works in the slightest next time. Goodbye.